Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to another video. This time I'm doing a tutorial on Mythic Botany, which is an add-on to Botania. So keep in mind that you must know uh, a little bit or, or a lot of, of Botania, okay, to get into the, the, the mod. So I will show you everything about the mod and everything that I will talk about is also in the Lexica Botania uh, tab. So right here you will find the Mythic Botany tab and if you click it you will have uh, basically everything that is in the mod, it's right here, okay? So be sure to keep that in, in your hand. So the first thing that I will show you is a new type of Wand of the Forest. So like the normal wand, you will craft it with twigs, but in this case the twigs are made of Dreamwood, okay? So this wand does the, the exact same thing as the other one. You need uh, petals, uh, the color that you want, and then three twigs, in this case of Dreamwood, and you will get the Wand of the Forest. So, as a crafting ingredient, the Mythic Botany adds a lot of new runes that I won't say their names because they are pretty complicated, like Al Helheim and Nidavellir and Jotunheim, okay. So, uh, basically to, to craft them, it's the same process as the runes from Botania. So, I will show you one. So, basically imagine to make this rune you need a brick, some blackstone, a rune of gluttony, autumn and hearth in a runic altar with some mana and you will get the rune, okay? Oh, and uh, a living rock on top, don't, don't forget that. So basically they are used uh, as a crafting ingredient throughout the, this mod. So the very important first step is that you want to get to this, this type of ingot, which is called half-steel ingot. So the ingot has some forms. It has the half-steel nugget part, which is basically uh, the ingot in a crafting table. Then you have the double half-steel ingot, which is two half-steel ingots with some mana powder. And then you have the block, which is nine half-steel ingots. And to make the half-steel ingot, you need let me make it day. You need to have a many infuser, and in there you need to put some elementian ingot, dragon stone, and pixie dust. With this, this is not uh, uh, half a pool of mana. Okay, this is two pools of mana. So to to look at that, you 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 can go into Lexica Botania. You can click the many infuser infuser. Right here, you can see the recipe for the many infuser. And the pattern is as follows. You need uh, some, shimmery, some shimmer rock, some blocks of gold. So you need five shimmer rock, four blocks of gold, and then the main infuser uh, in the middle. Then you need some spark on top and the pools with the sparks to give it mana. And to craft the, the off steel ingot, you just need to grab the three ingredients and drop them on top of here and you can see the particles now and they will time by time change to the color of off stealing it and the process will be done so i'll be right back so it's almost done and here we go the two pools are almost empty and here we go and ta-da there you have it one of steel ingot and it drained the two pools of mana a very important side note to know that you need two pools because i've showed you that you can see on uh, gei that there is a mana infuser uh, recipe that shows like half a pool but in this case it's showing that it's two pools okay but to check that out you can go into lexica botania go to the tab for example to the tab of mana infuser Go here and uh, right here you can see off still ingot. You have many usage. Uh, it's one full pool, and when you go with the mouse on top, you can see that it's two pools full of of mana. Okay, so that's how you read it. And now that you know how to make half steel ingot, you will uh, be able to craft a lot of new stuff. So you will have the half blade, half shatter, half truncator, granite span of aura. Greatest Band of Mana, the Off Steel Pylon, and then you have a set of armor uh, made of off, ste uh, off Steel, of course. So, first of all, the Off Steel Pylon, it's a very cool item 
that uh, it's required to craft the Gaia Pylon. Okay, so in this case you will need the Dove Steel Pylon to craft the Gaia Pylon. So it's a change in, in the recipe. And they can also receive mana from spreaders and repair our, our off steel tools and tools enchanted with mending. So I will show you that. So, for example, I have here three tools the blade, the shatter, the truncator. So, the, the, the blade basically does uh, damage uh, on contact and it also has a, a laser that you can shoot to enemies. It's a very cool. Um, uh, blade and it does much more damage and you can swing it much faster than the normal tools in Botania. Then you have the half steel uh, shatterer which is basically uh, uh, able to area mine even more blocks at, at, at once. And the recipes, I'll show you the recipes first, is the terra shatterer with half steel ingot and the blade is the same, the terra one with the half steel ingot. And then you have the truncator, which I can show you uh, in action. So the truncator is able to cut all three, uh, like uh, the whole tree. Okay, so I'll go down there. So here we are. Okay, so right here, I'll go into survival. And now, right now, if I left click, I have all the items. And now, if I right click, it will have a magnet effect. Did you see that? Okay, I'll repeat again. So, left click, the whole tree is cut down, and if I right click, it collects all the items. Also, if you shift left click, you will only break one block at a time. And then we have the half steel pylon, which is, as I said, capable of uh, repairing tools made of half steel or tools that have mending. So to do that, you need a spreader, you need uh, a pool, a, a mana pool, just put down the off steel pylon and then drop the, the tool that you want to repair on top. You will see those particles and ta-da, it's done. You then have the greatest band of mana and the greatest band of aura. So basically the greatest band of mana holds more mana than the, the, the one previously, which is the greater band of mana. And then the greatest band of aura uh, produces more mana than the, the one before, which is the greater band of aura. So they are upgrades, okay? You just need a, a, a table and you put the greater band of aura with some of steel ingot and you're, you're set. You then have a set of armor, you have the helmet, chestplate, leggings and boots. So to craft them you basically use uh, the terra steel form uh, with some, uh, with some uh, double half steel ingot. And the double half steel ingot is two half steel ingots with a mana powder. And after that you can see that if you shift on the armor you have a lot of buffs that you can add to the armor if you have the full set. And if you control, you can see in Galaxy Botania that this helmet can get all ancient wheels, like the Terra Steel, but it also makes you reach further with your arms. And then this one is knockback, and this one improves walking speed, and this one is uh, you can jump much higher, so it's a lot of fun. You then have two new rings, the ring on Nifheim, Nilfheim, okay, this is a hard one, and the Muspelheim. So these two rings, um, you can craft them with some Elementium and the rune, this rune for that, this one, and to this ring, when you attack something, it gets a very strong slowness effect for a short time. And that one, the, the, the muscle farm, it's basically made with also some elementium ingots, uh, the other rune of this uh, in mythic bo botany. And then this ring makes you immune to all kind of fire damage. So I will demonstrate it right now. So I'll, I will begin with the ring of the Muspel, Muspelheim, which is the fire damage one. So I can go on lava and I'm immune to the lava. Okay, as you can see, I won't, I'm not taking any damage. And now if I attack any uh, mob, just wait a second for the fire to go out. If I attack any mob, I will set the mob on fire for a, a, a certain period of time, okay? As you can see, I'm attacking the pig and it burns the pig. 
And then we have the slowness one, which I will show you right now. So if I have a pick and I equipped the ring and I left click the pick, you can see the particle effects that the pick for a certain period of time has slowness. So in this mod, you have a new way of crafting items, which is with the rune rituals. So to get into rune rituals, you will first need this item, which is the water from the well of Mimir. So to craft this item, you will need first to have the Horn of the Wild from Botania and drop the Horn of the Wild into the, the, in the mana pool and you will get the, this name, this weird name, okay? And after you get this item, you will need to fill it with water from the well of Mimir. So to do that, you also need a branch of Yigur Yagrdazil, I think it's that, I don't know how to pronounce that. And to make this, you need some living wood and some terrestrial nugget. And you need to put the, this item in front of a spreader with a pool. So right here, for example. And then right click with, uh, with this item. And you will see that it will start to drop water into the item. And you will see the item changing. And there it is, now it stopped, the, the spreader stopped, and now we have our water from the well of Mimir. And now that we have this, we can drink it. And you have already gained the knowledge, because I have already drank it uh, before. But if you haven't, you will gain the knowledge to perform rune rituals. So now that you have the knowledge to perform the rituals, you will also need this item, which is the rune tablet of a uh, Fimbul tier. So to get this, you will need to fight the Gaia, Ga Guar the Guardian of Gaia too, okay? And when you slay it, when you have the knowledge already, so first have the knowledge and then fight the, the, the Gaia uh, Guardian, uh, you will get this rune tablet. Then, after that, you will need two more items. You will need the rune holder, and you will need the master rune holder. So the master rune holder usually, usually no, it always goes in the center, and the rune uh, holders goes around it in a certain pattern. Right now, I will show you the patterns in some of the uh, rune rituals that you can perform to get new items. To craft these, these items, it's pretty simple. To, so the master one uses mana powder and some emeralds. And the normal holder uses some iron ingots and mana powder. And just an additional information. For the rune rituals, uh, it's pretty simple to do those. So basically, you need to check the recipe that you want to make. So for example, if I want to make the hammer. And you will see here where you, uh, where you must place the runes and the rune tablet. So for example, for this recipe, I'll just show you the basic mechanics. If I want to do the recipe, I need the rune holder, the master rune holder in the middle, okay, in the center, so right here. And then you just start to count. So, for example, one space between the next rune, so one space. And then you have two here, okay, so it's one, two, three, and one to the side, so one two three and one to the side so it's right here right oops right oh nope not that so one two three and one to the side so it's there i think one two three and one to the side one two three one to the side okay so you get to gist and after you you finish all the placement of the of the runes to put the to put the the runes on the holders you just right click it so for example if i want to put the rune tablet this one in the middle i just come here right click the middle one okay so now it's placed and if i need to put on the other one so for example the nidavalir these two runes for example, so two runes for me, and I just right click, right click, and you do that until you have all the all the runes placed. And next, I will show you how to perform the ritual. So the first item that I will show you how to craft is called 
the Mjolnir. So the Mjolnir is a very, very cool item, which is Amber, that uh, uh, sets with some lightning in the enemies when you throw it. And you also have an, en an enchantment for it, which is the Hammer Mobility uh, 1 through 5. And to craft this uh, hammer, I will show you the recipe. So you need a rune tablet on the middle, and then you need these runes around it in this disposition, and you need to throw these items near the um, the the rune tablet, okay, in the in the center, and when you right click uh, with the uh, with the twig, not the twig, what is it called? With give me a second. With the wand of the forest, okay, and you have some mana in your inventory, it will start to craft, okay. So I will show you that. So right now I have my greatest band of mana, so I can have some mana in my inventory. I have all the items. I don't need the water one, okay. So I have everything, and then I will show you why I need this. So now that I have all the ingredients, I will also need my wand of the forest. And now that I'm here, that I'm here, so as you as I as I showed you, you need to make a pattern. So in this case, I made a pattern using the uh, the green holder, the master rune holder in the center, and then the rune holders around it. Keep in mind that the center one will be uh, loose, okay? You will lose the item and the holder, and the other ones you will keep the runes and the holders. So, right now, I will show you how to craft it. So, you basically need to throw the items near the, the center. So, I will throw it right here. And then, right click with the one of the forest, and you will see these very cool uh, particle effects. And there it goes. And we have our hammer and all the runes back. So, okay, now that we craft it, we have our greatest man of mana used uh, with some mana. And we can put it right here. And now, if I go into survival and I go to pick up the, the, the hammer, I can't. The hammer waits way too much for you to lift it. However, it is told that the gods are uh, ate from the golden apples of Eden to gain their power. So, yeah, you guessed it. You need absorption. So you need absorption to pick up the, um, the hammer. So you can eat, even eat uh, any potion that has absorption. So you can uh, uh, see right here vial of shielding flask of shielding so you you have uh some potions that that can help you and when you drink it right now i can right click and i have the hammer and i can shoot the hammer and it will come back and i can shift right click when it's prepared i can shift right click and put the hammer down and i can pick it up again and shoot some animals some mobs in this case so i will have a pig to show you what what happens so if i have a pig and i shoot it as you can see i sh the pig is now into a, a pigment and if i shoot it again now i'm attacking the pig oop, oop, oop. oops come back come back come back okay now i have it and there it goes. And now I will show you what happens when the absor absorption uh, goes out. So five seconds, four seconds. So now I have four seconds with absorption. And when it goes out, you drop the hammer and you see the message. You feel how, how the strength of your arms diminishes. There's no way you can hold that heavy hammer no longer. So right now if I right click, I can't hold it again. And if I drink the absorption potion again, I can pick it up. We then have another rune uh, ritual, which will make you able to go into the portal. So this one is my favorite one, because always when I was playing Botania, I always wished I, can, I could go through the portal, and now you can. So to, to do that, you need to craft uh, the, the, this item, which is the blood of Kvazir, and then you you make the mid of Kvazir. So basically, 
the blood of Kvazir uses a, a rune tablet in the middle with these runes around it and then you need a soul scribe of steel nugget a mana glass vial and a wandering trader nearby and you will get the blood of Kvazir and after that to make the mid one you just need some honey bottle with the blood with the blood flask okay after that if you um, drink the the mid of Kvazir you will receive a message saying that you can go through the portal so first let's do the the ritual so i will get rid of these items and i will get these ones i'll get the band the the band of mana and let's go into survival okay everything set so let's drop all the items and the wanderer and right click the wanderer was killed which is a sacrifice and now, there he goes. And there we have it. We have now the Blood of Kvazir. So now, after you get the Blood of Kvazir, you can craft the, um, the meat of Kvazir. So to do that, you just need some honey bottle, as I showed you. Okay. And now you can drink it. And it says that I've already gained the talents of Kvazir, but if you already haven't drank it, you will receive another message telling you that you can go through the portal. So now we have the ability to go through the portal. So in the other dimension, when you go through the portal, you will find some new blocks. So you will find a new gold, uh, a new ore, uh, which is the gold ore, dragon store ore, and elementum ore. Also, you will have the removed leaves and some pixies uh, floating around. Also, you have the dream cherry, which you can see that dream cherries are dropped by dreamwood leaves, and those leaves generate on dreamwood trees, which are on the, the dimension that I will show you. So, right now, I will show you the dimension. In, to go there, you obviously need an uh, active portal, and you just go through it. And here we are, we are in the dimension of Alfheim. So in this dimension, you will find a lot of cool stuff. So you will find a lot of apothecaries uh, laying around uh, in, in, in much play in everywhere, basically. And you will see the Dreamwood trees with the Dreamwood leaves. Also, you will see some structures like this one with some Bifrost block and the mana uh, inside. And very cool, you have living rock um, instead of stone. And then you also have the, um, the new ores. So to show you that, I will have a shatterer with me. This one, for example. Okay, so let me, let me go. Let me see there. Okay, so uh okay i destroyed the, the new the new ore so let's go a little bit further so right there you can see elementium ore so you can you now have a uh, ore of elementium and if we go deeper okay right here you can see gold ore so the other ore so it's just left we are just left with dragon stone which i think is like the diamonds of this dimension so probably they are uh, not so easy to find. Okay, more elementium. Yeah, probably somewhere around here you will find the dragon store ore. So yeah, so that's basically it. You now have new types of ores and you have a new type of dimension. In this dimension you can also find day blooms uh, uh, flowers and you can find nightshades flowers, okay? And then you have a lot of uh, different types of biomes. So you have the Alfheim Plains. And then you also have the Dreamwood Forest. Not Alfheim, the Dreamwood Forest. And you also have other two biomes. Which are the Alfheim Lakes, which I am right now. And that orange one or golden new one is called golden fields 
And a very important thing that you must do when you are in the Golden Fields, you will have to look for the Andwari Caves. So the Andwari Cave, it's a cave where you'll find that item, a very useful item, called the Ring of Andwari. You will find it in the cursed form, okay, so the, the black one. Uh, and I will show you later what to do with it. But first, uh, to find the this cave, you only can find it in Golden Fields and you have to look around for, for this entry. And for example, in this one, it's in the very sneaky, sneaky part of the biome, which is right here, okay? So it's very hard to find it in this case, but usually you can find it in the... Uh, in the in the most uh, upper layer of the biome, okay? So you go inside here, you make yourself an entryway, and inside you will find a lot of block of blocks of gold, and you will have a chest. So you have to dig through to find a chest. Oh, there it is, and. Inside the chest, you have the cursed ring of Andwari and a lot of golden uh, things that you will find why the gold is, is associated with, uh, with this ring. And you can take the ring and later I will show you what to do. One very important side note is that if you can find the, the cave in, the, in these biomes, okay, if you have a, a hard time finding it, you can always do the this command. You can always use the command locate and then you, 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 you will write mythic botany and Dory cave. You give it a space and the nearest uh, mythic uh, mythic botany cave is at so 30 blocks away which is right there okay but if you are very uh, very far away you just need to go to the coordinates uh, showed uh, in the in the commands and you will find your yourself a cave okay but try it the normal method first and only if you have a struggle use the use the command also, you can find, as I mentioned, this new mob, which is the pixie, which is this pink uh, flying thing, and you can get pixie dust from it. So now that you came from the Alfheim dimension, you now know about the ores, and the, and the, you found Dreamwood leaves, and you get the Dream Cherries and everything, and you hopefully found the, the, the cave where you got the Cursed Ring of Andwari. If you equip the ring, you will get poison, okay? So don't do it. Because you need to use this ring to get to the ring of Andwari, the normal ring. And to get the, the, the normal ring, you will need to perform a ritual with these runes and some mana with cloth. Okay, so I will show you that right now. If I come here and I'll get the mana with cloth and I get the cursed ring, I put both right here. Grab the mana of the forest, have some mana with me, right click. And one cool thing that you can might notice, the particles of each rune uh, varies uh, with the rune that it's, it's going to there. So if you have water rune, uh, you will have water droplets. It's, it's a very uh, cool effect. So, okay, right now I have the ring. And now that I have the ring, if I go into survival, if I equip the ring, and I have a, a band of, of mana. Every time I place a gold block, I will get a, a, a gold item. So there you have it, a gold pickaxe, a gold golden axe with efficiency two, pants, shovel, nuggets. So I will show you, I will place a lot of it. And as you can see, if I now go through here, I have a lot, a lot of, of items with enchantments even. But be sure to ch always check out the ring because if the ring gets cursed again, and as you can see, the ring is almost out of charges. So if I, as you can see now, the ring is cursed. So I have to take it out. Okay. So now I need to enchant it once more. So it's limited use. And now we have... Uh, five types of new flowers. So you have flowers that can produce mana, which is the Wither, Aconite and the Rain Dahlia. And then you have flowers that use mana, which is the Exoblaze, the Aquafantas and the Hellebore. So 
these flowers, what they can do, I will show you right now. So the Exoblaze is a flower that uses mana to fill the fuel of nearby uh, brewing stands. The Aquafantas uses a very small amount of mana to fill nearby cauldrons and petal apothecaries. And the Hellbore, Piglins and all Oglins that are near a Hellbore will not turn into zombies as long as the flower has enough mana. Then you have the generating mana, you have the Wither Aconite, and as you can guess it, it uses uh, Nether Stars to produce mana. And then you have the Rendalithia, which is basically uh, produces mana when it's raining. So these are the five new flowers, and I will show you which, uh, each uh, one of the flowers. One very important block that I must show you is the mana collector uh, that I will use to demonstrate every flower that it set uh, from this mod. And the mana collector is made with some glimmering dreamwood, Gaia Spirit Tinget, Pixie Dust and the Rune of Vanaheim. And basically uh, this item can hold and transfer mana much quicker, okay? So at some point uh, you will not be able to handle mana that fast. So for example, for the for this flower, for the wither aconite, okay, it will be very hard. So it allows the mana of flowers to be inserted into the spark network directly, and you still need to attach a receive spark to do it. Okay, so I will show you in action with the flowers. So, as an example, uh, I will show you the Wither Aconite with the Mana Collector, okay? So, I put a Spark on top of the Mana Collector with the Recessive uh, Spark Augment and then I put a Spark in this pool and you also have these two pools with some Sparks and right now, if I drop a star next to it, you can see that it's transferring Mana directly to the, sp to the um, Spark Network, okay? but you are asking yourself, okay, but why is the nether star still here? So the nether star is being consumed, so if you pick it up right now, it has some damage. So let's wait uh, a little bit more, and if I pick it up, you can see that it's now a faded nether star, and it has a, a damage value. So if I drop it again, it produces mana again, okay? So this is a very cool way of producing mana. And now I will show you the Aquafantas and the Exoblaze. So Exoblaze, as you can see, if I put down a brewing stand, it now has fuel. So you can see the fuel going up. So it's the flower that it's taking mana from the pool and putting it in the, in the brewing stand. So if I put another one here, you can see the value going up. Okay. And then the Aquafantas, if you put down apothecary or a cauldron, it will fill those up. So it's filling up the the cauldron. And if I put down apothecary, there you have it. And that's basically it, guys. I hope you liked this video. Give it a like, subscribe. Uh, tell me which mods would you like to see covered in the in the future. Uh, check out my other videos and tell me in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll try my best to help you. So yeah, see you next time.